first thing to say about responsible innovation is that it recognises the transformative power of science and innovation to create futures. And it encourages us to think what kind of future do we want science and innovation to create. Ethics is a way to ask yourself if you could do better if you've been thinking every facet of a topic. So it's a kind of philosophical attitude. It's not morality, rules and so on. It's a questioning. RRI is a vision for a future society in Europe which asks people, stakeholders, to consider uh, other actors in the plans they have. Well, I think businesses can profit in two ways from RRI. In the first place, um, uh, it's, it's very important that you don't miss out on opportunities to innovate. Uh, and, and thinking about ethical issues and your responsibilities and the values that are important to citizens, consumers and patients will make you aware of opportunities to uh, think about new products and new services. And so it opens up a completely new world. Uh, and so not to do that would be uh, missing out on opportunities to, to, to be creative and to innovate. The other thing is, is that it prevents you from failing miserably because you're out of sync and out of tune with what people think is important. I think researchers and innovators have a real responsibility to the society, to our fellow citizens, and it's important that this is at the forefront of people's minds when they're doing their research, when they're carrying out their innovation product, projects, and when they're thinking about the kind of products that might flow from them. This is about a kind of collective responsibility. It's not only as a responsibility of a researcher who's doing the research and innovation, it's a collective process of all the different stakeholders that are somehow linked to this topic. To be responsible in an R&I context it means that you really know what you're doing, that you think of yourself as being part of a greater whole, that you have to influence, that you influence by means of your research, by means of the things you do, the, the, the innovations you do. So um, that's a kind of reflection you have to have all the time. So we need to think about what the future should look like and what we find important in that future. Therefore, we, we need to reflect on our own values. And as these values might change, we need to do uh, this reflection continuously. We therefore see ethics um, not as an obstacle, but more as design principles for research and innovation.